Hi, you guys. It's been a while since I have uploaded a vlog. I have vlogged, but I just haven't been in the right headspace to like upload or whatever. So yeah, here I am. It is Monday and I am uh, uh, on my way to Dwayne's house. I went to a physical meeting today which i haven't done in about two weeks uh just because i didn't feel up to being around people that i don't really know i mean i know people in meetings but um we were doing a lot of family stuff with uh, my cousin who had passed away we finally laid him to rest on thursday and we've just been doing a lot of family stuff and whilst I was not doing uh, physical meetings. I was doing online meetings. So I was doing a bunch of Zoom meetings and I'm really thankful for Zoom meetings because there I don't think there's a way that I would have mentally been able to, excuse me, do um, physical meetings. I just, I, I don't think there was a way that I would have been able to do that. So I got up, I took a shower and I went to a meeting and then I went to, I came to the mall and did some shopping for jeans. I am, <laughs> I'm like obsessed with the, uh, with fashion. Well, not fashion. I'm, I'm lying to you right now. I'm obsessed with, um, the fashion that's, that's trending right now. And it's just, and I guess it's more of like the younger kids, but they're totally wearing like 90s mom uh, fashion and I cannot get enough of it. So they're wearing like the big boyfriend jeans that are like kind of baggy, um, you know, that are cuffed at the end. So I went, ah. I bought a pair of those a couple days ago and I also bought a pair of the classic Reeboks with the gum bottom. Y'all, there's something wrong with me, but it's fine. And so I went and I bought some more jeans. I now need to find some shirts. I'm like a graphic shirt wearer. I love graphic shirts. So I think I'm just gonna purchase a bunch of graphic shirts and probably some sweatshirts so that I will be set for the winter. Yep, and then I also need clothes for this season of judging, but I think I'll be fine. I'm pretty sure I have a bunch of clothes from not last season, well, a little bit from last season, but a couple seasons ago. Hopefully they still fit. Oh because you know, bodies, they change as you get older. <laughs> Help. So anywho, today, all right. So first off, I wanna pay my respects to Mel Thompson. Uh, if you guys do not know who she is, she was a beauty YouTuber who passed away and it is very shocking and seemingly unexpected. I don't know if she was ill. I don't I don't know the reasonings behind. And I know a lot of people, especially when somebody so young passes away, people always want to know what happened. But frankly, it's none of our business. And so if the family wants to let us know, they can let us know. But it's just really, really sad because she was such a light in our in the beauty industry. She was never in any drama. She was just a beautiful spirit and oh my gosh like she just posted a youtube video like two days ago and it's really really sad so uh i just want to send prayers and positive vibes to her family and her friends and anybody who is hurting and struggling from this it's it's really really sad um yeah because mel thompson was just just a light you know it's really sad and so, 
so that's one thing that I want to do. I just want to pay my respects to Mel Thompson and her family. Uh, hopefully her kids can heal from this. It's really sad. The, oh my gosh, I forgot there's a thrift store on the way home. Ooh, Sharita's going to the thrift store. Um, something else that happened today. Y'all, R. Kelly was found guilty on all counts. Won't he do it? Won't he do it? Because there are so many people that, I don't know, a lot of people are just trying to save face and be like, what? He, he's he's not guilty or he's innocent until proven guilty blah 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 and i'm just like i don't understand why people want to defend rapists so much like yes we understand r kelly made amazing music like nobody is taking that away from him nobody is taking that away from him but for y'all to be like well i just gotta see what the courts say before no no we're not seeing what the courts say. He was, oh my gosh, <laughs> this car came straight at me. Um, he was a nasty, dirty man. And I just don't understand where people get off being like, oh yeah, like he, he was such a good artist and blah, blah. Don't nobody care about any of that. No, literally nobody cares and for you for people to defend him over believing black women and it's always like protect black women until some nasty dirty black man is the person who is abusing black women like i don't i don't get it is the thrift store open sure ah. i i'm just really happy that r kelly is going to spend the the rest of his days in prison and people can be mad and be like but that's a black man yeah it's a black man who abused black women like get mm, get with the program anyway i forgot that there's a thrift store so i'm about to go into the thrift store uh and then i'll be back. okay so i'm slow and the the uh what's that thing called the thrift store is not open on sundays and mondays so I just went across the street to Burlington and um, browsed around there. And I ended up getting some socks because that's what I do. So anyway, I was talking about R. Kelly and how this is justice for his survivors, his victims and survivors. And I don't know, hopefully this sparks some change and also proves that just because a person has a lot of money uh, doesn't mean that they won't do evil things. I am the type of person where I believe that a lot of people get to where they are, like powerful people get to where they are a lot of it is through manipulation. And I'm not saying that for all people in power. I'm just saying majority of people in power because you don't, I don't know, like you just don't hear stories, a lot of stories on people. Um, I don't know, like that's just, that's just the way I feel. I don't really know how to voice my words because there are, I mean, there's just shitty people everywhere right everywhere in the world there are shitty people so to think that people who are in power they can't be good people i like it just doesn't make any sense you know a lot of people say things like oh well they don't have to and i used to have this mindset oh oh what do they need to take advantage of people be you know for people are willing to do things for them or do things to them. I used to have a really disgusting, you know, point of view, but it's when it comes to abuse, it has n it has a it has nothing to do with uh what sort I'm looking for, like satisfaction. It's all about uh, it's all about power. So, you know, usually serial abusers, they're messed up in the head, but they can come off as um 
normal people or whatever. Because you get certain people that are, you know, like like the orange man. So many people have have accused him of doing things and everybody's like, oh, there's no way he would do anything like that. How do you know? How do you know? I hope after this R. Kelly situation, they start to look at like people who have been, um, what sort I'm looking for? Like who have been accused multiple times. I hope they, they take this and they do something about it. Just like the T.I. and Tiny situation. I hope that somebody takes that serious because there's no way that hundreds or even like you know like 30 20 15 people can make the same accusation and it not be true it just doesn't make any sense to me but that's that's just me so so yeah so like I mentioned before I'm on my way to Dwayne's house there is a football game on tonight it is the Cowboys versus the uh, Eagles. It is a division game. I love football so much, you guys. Like I said, that is that is the problematic hobby that I like watching NFL football because we know, we know, and I know, trust me, I know. I'm very aware of how fans and how just the NFL in general um, perceives black men I'm aware you don't have to tell me so I think that's it just a real quick vlog today today is day 47 uh, creeping up on 60 days I'm really excited about that and yeah so I'm going to uh, I don't know when this vlog will be up hopefully tomorrow and I will see you guys later. Bye.